Imagine a chat GPT for music that allows you to generate an entire song from one single prompt in seconds. Well, it exists, it's called Suno, and here's how it works. How to make songs with AI, the full tutorial. And by the way, just to prove how powerful it is, every song in this video is generated by Suno's AI, even the background music. Let's get started. So this is Suno right here, link is in the description as always. Let me show you around. So first of all, on the homepage, we have a bunch of different trending songs and let's just take a listen to some of the crazy stuff we can get. When I wake up in the morning, who's there by my First of all, just that is crazy to think that it's generated by AI. Now you've got a bunch of other trending songs right here, but if we wanted to create our own, all we have to do is go and click on create. And now Suno is a free tool. It's got a free version. It gives you 50 credits and it costs five credits to generate one song. But every time you generate, you have to do two songs. So basically you get five different generations and it gives you two songs every time, 50 credits. And now I'm currently on the $10 a month plan, which is giving me 500 songs. And this has allowed me to play around with it quite a bit. And so I'm gonna show you some of the cool things I found. And again, they do have a free plan, but I do want to mention that you can't use any of this music commercially if you are on that free plan. And I might as well throw it in there, but Suno actually have a Discord and you've got a bunch of different Discord channels where you can actually generate some of this music for free as well. Well, so that's another way to generate it. And by the way, join my Discord while you're at it, Quiet Creators, link in the description as well. But back to Suno. So to create music, all I have to do in this little song description box is very simple. I need to type out this song that I want. So let's say I wanted some UK drill, happy piano, humming, background, vocals. And I actually want this to be an instrumental, so I'm gonna tick instrumental, correct my mistake here. And we're going to leave it on V3, which is the latest model, which I always recommend doing, and just click create. And then here, as you can see, we've got two generations that start happening instantly. And essentially, this is gonna be two songs for the same prompt. Now, when it's an instrumental, it's just gonna be two different songs. But when it's not an instrumental, it's gonna be two different songs, but they're gonna have the same lyrics. And so as you can see here, we've got two different songs that have been generated with the same title from the same prompt. They've got two different artworks, which is also generated based on your prompt. But let's click play. So we've got some humming vocals, but it sounds a little bit like gibberish, but that's because I asked it to do an instrumental. And if we take a look at here on the right, we can also see like the artwork in more detail. And this is where the lyrics will appear if we do do some lyrics. So let's say I decided to switch this off and we decided to go for something else. And here I've decided to write British rock song about shaving your head and bleaching your hair. And here, this time I make sure I tick instrumental off and I click create. And so this time the same thing is gonna happen, except we're gonna be given some lyrics in both of these songs. And again, both of these songs are gonna have the same lyrics, but they'll be sung maybe differently or the background music will be a little bit different or, the, or I mean the instrumental part of it will be a little bit different, but they will have the same lyrics. And so now let's listen to the song Shaved and Bleached. So that's pretty good. As you can see, we've got the lyrics here. And now if I go to the second version, it's gonna be the same lyrics. And there you go. Same lyrics, different kind of flow, different music basically. But let's say I wasn't happy with these lyrics and it wasn't quite right, but I still wanna generate a song in a similar style. Well, I can actually go back up to the generator, right? And I'm gonna create something completely new, but this time I'm gonna select custom mode. And custom mode allows us to enter our own lyrics and get a little bit more specific with what we're looking for. And I quite like this because we can be super random, you know, and super specific. So for example, let me type out some super creative lyrics. So as you can see, something super creative, but we're going to go and type in rap, and then I'm just gonna call it subscribe now two, because I already did this one earlier. And if I hit create, again, we're gonna get two prompts. Obviously the lyrics are gonna be the same, but it's just gonna be the flow, the delivery, and the background of the instrumental side of the song is gonna be different. And so as you can see, two songs, let's listen to this one. Subscribe to Alex YouTube channel now. Subscribe to Alex YouTube channel now. So as you can see, that one actually didn't go line for line. It kind of skipped a couple. So let's listen to this one. Subscribe to 
So this prompter seems to be skipping some of them, but there are ways to fix that. And let me just show you a couple I made earlier. So if I click play here. Subscribe to Alex YouTube channel. Dancing with the flannel, free digital. I want too much sand. Look at how I can go burning like a candle. And as you can see here, what you'll notice is I was playing around with the prompts and here I actually wrote Kangle to get it to say, look how high I can go. And so this is what I thought was quite cool is because the vocals aren't super crisp and super clear, you kind of mess around with the pronunciation by actually changing the spelling of the word. But let's say there's a specific song that I really like. So I generated this one earlier. Okay, and this was the prompt and these are the lyrics. Let's say I really like it. Now what I can do is I can hit the thumbs up button and that will tell Suno and the AI that I like this song. If I actually hit the down button, it will remove it. So I'm just gonna go back and hit the up button. Okay, and if I click on the three dots, I've got a few different options. And first of all, I just want to do, I do want to mention that you can download it as an audio file and a video. And if you actually download it as a video, you get it looking like this. Drowning in a digital sea. So it looks like this little Spotify card thing, so I thought that was quite cool. But if I really liked this song, what I can do is actually extend it. And then at extend, as you can see, this little box pops up. And I can go ahead and input more lyrics, or I can let the AI choose, which I'm going to do. And I basically just want to extend this song. And it's not going to add it onto the end, but it's going to basically create a new audio file which is the extension of this. So you can almost like merge the two together in an audio editor or a video editor. So here as you can see it's continue from 114 but let's say I didn't want that I wanted it to continue from So let's say I'm going to go 039 because that's when the lyrics end. I'm going to call it part two for simplicity of this tutorial. It's going to be rap again and I'm going to click continue. And now if I give it a listen so as you can see, it continued the instrumental. Which sounds like the, the extension of this instrumental. And let's say I wanted it to make some random lyrics. As you can see, it's written some lyrics. The only thing is they are not super relevant to my initial prompt. So what you could do is actually go to ChatGPT and ask it to write an extension of the lyrics that we've already got here. That way, the extension would be a lot more cohesive with the beginning of the song. And then once we've got these lyrics, we then just click continue. And what it will do this time is it's actually going to wrap the lyrics with the same voice from the first half. And it's also going to keep the same style and the same beat. So it does sound like a true extension. So if I click play. That sounds like the extension. In the city lights, we come alive. This voice doesn't sound as similar, but let's say I really wanted this one and imagine you're a music producer, right? So as you know, I've already downloaded this, so I'm just gonna download it again. We could then go to Moises AI. I think that's how you say it, Moises, Mo Moises, 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 we're going with Moises. And then we could click new, and here I'm just gonna upload the song. Again, this is a free tool, you can get five songs a month. And we're gonna click next. And here I can actually separate the stems. So I think this is really cool. I've got vocals, drums, bass, and other. So we click submit. And here it allows me to separate the stems. If I wanted to use like the vocals, just the vocals or just the beat in a music project, I can. But I can also find the key of the song, the BPM, and let's just open it up. As you can see, I've got all the different stems. Drowning in a digital seat, my mind's froze. Money signs on it. This is like the background. Add the drums. Imagine that, right? But then let's say I wanted to find out like what, what chords are this? Well, I can actually go and listen through and it will tell me what chords it is. Which I think is awesome. So if you then wanted to like basically just start writing your own song based off of this, like you use this as inspiration, you can do that. And that, <laughs> is just how crazy AI has got. And if we just go back to Suno, as we can see, there are like tons of these songs that are generated and a lot of them actually sound really good, which is quite scary. So I would love to know what you guys think and what are you gonna use this technology for? And do you think this is gonna replace real music one day? I don't think it ever will because it will lack that authenticness, 
but I can understand how it's scary for artists and music producers. But let me know in the comments. That being said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, peace. Do it, do it.